and welcome! I know we're a little earlier than usual, but tonight we're streaming a scrim with our JV Smash team. I'm Amelia. I'm Wayne. And tonight we are against the, <laughs> the Queensboro Tigers. That's right, all the way from New York. All the way. They're not actually here in person, though. Yeah, that'd this, be cool. That would be fun. But also extremely expensive. That would be expensive, <laughs> especially for a JV scrim. Yeah, so we have that right now, and later we're going to be streaming the official match with the varsity team and um, a league match. So stick around for that. And we are about to start soon. Here we are. We have uh, Yumi Inkling. And then Yumi playing Sam's. as Inkling, sorry, from Queensboro. And then our Vandals playing... Uh, Dragonforge is playing Samus. Samus. I, I can see it, and I, like, process the word. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Samus. I'm going to stick with that. Yes, Samus. <laughs> and there is also a zero suit Samus. Yes, I have seen that. So what should we be expecting tonight? We have no idea, really. This is going to be fun. This is just a random uh, pizza our coach got us a scrim match for our JV team, I believe like an hour or two ago. Uh, this was just over Discord. They wanted to get some online play in, and Queensboro is who messaged us, so that is who we are playing. Fun! That's exciting, actually. Here we are, picking a map. Yeah! Ah, oh, darn it. I almost got excited. Mm -hmm. I'm always excited for Hollow Bastion. Hollow Bastion. But, what about... The player that we have lined up, I don't. I'm not very familiar with the JV team, so what should we expect from him? Gotcha. Dragon Dragonforge is uh, he's pretty much. I've only seen him play Samus. Uh, kind of aggressive for Samus. We'll see if he comes out that way in this match. Uh, might be a little bit tough going into an inkling and, and being aggressive with Samus, Three, but um, one, yeah, we'll we'll go. see how he does. We're about to find out. Is this going to be like a controls match, or should we be getting right into it? Uh, I, ha I have a feeling this is probably not going to be a very patient match. I think this is good. these are going to be quick matches. Oh, That's okay. my guess. Oh. Nice catch by Samus there. Oh. Yeah. The Inkling is not taking any damage. No. Hopefully, Jack Coach can get something going here. All right, well, at least he's not going to get shut out. <laughs> there we go. Just had to get into the group of things. Yep. Very Picking aggressive himself. play by the Inkling. Yeah. So this the Inklings tend to be aggressive. Ooh. Lost the stock for our Vandals. Start off with the lead for Queensboro. Mm -hmm. But hopefully Samus can catch up. But a lot of close quarters fighting with the Inkling is not going in favor for the Vandals, so we'll see how that goes. We are getting up into higher percentages once again, but it's nothing to worry about just yet. Yeah, I th I think this is kind of how I expected. Oh, that was a nice shot. But um, unfortunately not enough. Not quite enough. But yeah, Dragon Fortress probably needs to be a little more patient and campy with this. Oh. oh. And. Well, something happened to the visual. <laughs> but we just saw that um, we had Samus a communication just lost error. another stock. I think we might need to take a break real quick here. Something happened to our switch. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. That was interesting. It's really quiet, which is kind of making me uncomfortable. It is. <laughs> I'm going to go check and see what's going on. I'll be right, right back, okay? Thank you. And I will... Go
back. We got some issues fixed, and we are getting right back into the battle with the UI Vandals playing as Captain Falcon instead against Inkling. Who's playing right now? Uh, this is Dipe. Dipe? Okay. Yeah. I remember him playing for the varsity team. Uh, I believe he's the sub on the varsity team, and he was not able to make the varsity match today. So he's so, trying to play on the screen. Okay. Yeah, so this is just a chance for him to get some uh, playtime in. But it looks like he's not getting as, doing as well as he did in that varsity match. He's already up in kill percentage. Oh, almost got the spike. Thankfully he was able to save himself, but not soon enough. Just as he was knocked back, he lost a stock. Real oh. easy. Oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, tried to. What is that called? What's it's that? slam the inkling down, but instead. Oh, the fell. spike. Yes, the spike. Thank <laughs> you. I I had the word in my head. So we, our vandal is down to his last stock. Yumi still has all three, but is in kill percentage. So this. We can still get a stock off her. I, I, I sense we're getting a stock off soon. Mm -hmm. That Dipe is a solid player. Um, yeah, that, that second loss was unfortunate, but not impossible to recover from. Ooh. Oh. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Good recovery there. Kind of dodging around each other, not making any real moves yet. Yeah, this is gonna decide do we finally get a stalker? Oh, oh my gosh. What and a start for Yumi. That was pretty good for Queensboro. That not so good for Captain Falcon. Unfortunate. That does happen. All right, well. <laughs> Great start to this stream. <laughs> this is uh, uh technological <laughs> issues, a loss. All we're right, doing great. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see what we're bringing to the table next. <laughs> <laughs> well, <All right. laughs> you win some, you lose some, right? Does this count as our first or second match loss because of the? Um, because the disconnect was on our side, it, we just we, we lost we lose all three stocks. Ah, so we are on second. So it's loss. it's it's twelve to six. Great. Hang tight, just a second. Looks. <laughs> Wayne will be joining us shortly. It looks like we have Bowser going in against Inkling. Hopefully, doing a little better than what we've been seeing. And I believe we're going for the same stage. Not the best, but I mean, traditional works too. So it looks like things are getting started again and we should be back up and running all right. Like, what, two minutes? Uh, Less? They should, they're just picking stage right now. Okay. So. Oh, bash, oh, bash. <laughs> now with the Bowser going in, usually Bowser likes platforms. We'll see if that's what they end up going with. Um, <laughs> I know not Yoshi tends to not be super picky about the stage. They, they don't mind generally going anywhere. Bowser is being played by Yoshinator? Am I, am I right? Uh, no, not Yoshi. Not Yoshi. This is not Yoshi. Yep. Okay. Yes. Yes, we have a player. Clearly. Not Yoshi. <laughs> and a player, Yoshinator. That's definitely yeah. not confusing whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can probably guess which one is not actually Yoshi. That's true. <laughs> That, that was uh, that was just it was a random tag that they came up with from an online. I was actually playing with them if I remember correctly. Ready? 
uh, doubles online and we just were messing around with names and then the opponents were messing around with names and yeah it, just it, happened? it landed on that and it kind of stuck nice all right. So, what is this lineup going to look like? Like, Three, usually two, against an inkling, one, how does Bowser fare? Uh, well, this is this is an aggressive brat Bowser. Um. Okay. Getting so. Some nice combos on our Bowser here, but our Vandal is returning fire, which is nice. This is a solid inkling. Yeah. I can say that. Definitely nice knows how to play that character. Nice command grab from Bowser there. Already hitting kill percentage. That's not a great, not a great sign. No. I'm wondering if they have a, if this is just their varsity squad or if they have both. Oh, nice shot by Bowser. Solid damage from Bowser there. Sends Inkling mm. flying, but Inkling looks like they're gonna recover. Yeah, we are essentially. But Bowser launches nice forward smash. Inkling out of the match, loses stock. And another solid command grab there. All right. Well, we're not losing 12 to zero, so that's that's solid. <laughs> we like that. We do like that. All right. Now Yoshi's racking up a good amount of damage now for uh, for their for their bonus. Damage on their first stock. The nice thing about being a Bowser is that sometimes it's a little bit tougher to kill. Oh, unfortunate. He doesn't quite make that recovery losing his first stock. Yeah, Ooh. SD might have been a matter of, of timing from not having played enough online recently. That happens. Beautiful moves by Bowser. Oh, picks and up another kill. That one more, and we can possibly recover from this. <laughs> oh, good damage from the fire breath. Nice fair. Good use of space is what I'm noticing too. Yeah, this is this is different. I expected the I expected Dive to to adapt to this pretty well because. Nice recovery Dive by Bowser. Yeah, there's definitely a change of pace for the uh, for the inkling. Oh, and takes out nice. the last stock. Beautiful. Let's go, Not Yoshi. I would say that Not Yoshi had a really good edge guarding. Just with that fire breath, right as the inkling would grab on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Yeah, Not Yoshi does a good job of taking advantage. Well, they do they do a lot of fairs, a lot of fire breath. Mm -hmm. Um. They, and they they are very effective with their use of command uh, command grab. Yes. And it looks like the score is now six to nine. Uh, five to nine. Five. Oh right. Yeah, they do lose a stock. Lost sock. Yep. Right. That is progress, though. Mhm. Mm Who is going to be next? Is the question. That is the question. I'm going to randomly pick, uh, I'm thinking they're going to bring in a Lucina. A Lucina? Yes. Is that usually good against Bowser? It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's, the range is slightly better. I have a feeling, is there? Uh, it might There's be a Luigi. All right, that's. <laughs> Just from the profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan of this matchup. No? No, because Luigi's definitely, d Luigi very much wants to get in your face. And Bowser, being a big boy, can get juggled pretty hard by Luigi. Mm. So, Strategic, though. Yeah, hopefully not Yoshi can stay away from any uh, zero deaths. But, I mean, it. I guess it depends what they pick, because they might not choose Luigi. Oh, it turns chance. out it's not Luigi, it's Sora. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I know. No. You're gonna be conflicted about who to root for. Oh. Just remember, no. you're a vandal. I am a vandal, but I am a Kingdom Hearts fan at heart. <laughs> no. 
if they pick the Hollow Bastion map, I will wholeheartedly root for the Vandals, but if not, I might be a little split. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a little rough for me. But mm -hmm. we'll get through it. <laughs> yeah. I might I might comment a little bit more on Sora's playstyle. <laughs> just just a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Understandable. So uh, what can be seen between a Bowser Sora matchup? Well, kind of the same thing. It's just a different style of juggling. Yeah, Sora is a lot more floaty, floaty character. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. And with a sword, it has a longer reach distance, and he has magic. So, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Sora is going to be in the air a whole bunch. Most likely. We'll see. Definitely. I guess we'll see how this player, Brett, I noticed the username was, how Brett uses Sora. If he is as uh, versatile in Sora as Yumi was with Inkling, we might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah. That's a cool map. I've never seen that one before. Oh, yeah. That is... Uh it's a big map. It's a big map? It's a big map. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of fire all over the place, though. And it basically, if you touch the fire at 100 plus damage, you die. Oh! So that is... Let's, let's not do that one. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not a legal map. Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> be, I see why. <laughs> that would be horrible to play online. That, that would be cool if there was a tournament that just had that map, though. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it'd be difficult, but it'd be fun to watch. I, yeah. And they have classic Sora, too. Classic Sora. Honestly, One, final for way cooler, but classic Sora is okay, too. Now we're going to get into the real match. Thunder right. is the first spell. Yeah. Thunder. See, that, that already shows the DLC privilege going on there. Should have had tough guy. But Bowser is giving some damage back. But probably not enough. Oh, already into the thing. That's, that's yeah. not looking good. Oh! Very what? fluid use of Sora's skills. Wow. Let's see if not Yoshi can adapt to this, or if it's going to be a lot. Oh. Gotta love the fire damage. Yeah. Oh. But not enough to prevent losing a stock. Sora comes through with the lightning. Yep. It's not really called lightning, is it? What is it called? Uh-huh. And then this is Blizzard, and then the next is Fire on them. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, but I don't really care. That's all right. I don't even know what they are. I am not a sword player. I, d you know, just like, just like any Smash player, I tried every single DLC when it came out. Um, Banjo is who ended up picking up as a character Ooh. they play. Oh. Yeah, I keep getting a oh. Oh no! We almost got a stock off Sora, but Bowser just wasn't able to recover soon enough. Bummer. All right. Real bummer. Brings our score to nine to three. So who will we put up against Sora next? And our final player. Um, I forget. I forget his tag. I believe this is a snake that's coming in. The snake? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is this is a brand new player to our scene. Um, since, since this is our first JV match that we've tried throwing together, um, I know the, the, it, it's going to take us a few weeks of scrims, I think, to kind of settle into uh, who our JV players are. So his handle's Samuel, and he plays the snake. Okay. Very upfront fighter from what he looks like. Mm hmm. So it's. Should it be a kind of even matchup? Uh, well, Snake 
really likes to camp. Lots of grenades and oh. bombs and mines and So that yeah. could be a counter to Sora's more upfront fighting, other than magic, of course. It could, yeah. Hopefully they just get a lot of uh, a lot of projectiles and stuff thrown out there. Mm -hmm. And you know, snakes are they're good at running away and dropping stuff and <laughs> waiting for people to explode. Awesome. So hopefully we see a whole bunch of that. Enough to knock down three stocks. Let's hope so. losing one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the hope right now. <laughs> yeah. Because we are still three to nine. Yes. This is going to be a monumental comeback if, if we're going to see that. Ooh. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to be impartial. I mean, trying to be impartial, but obviously is not going well. <laughs> no, the Kingdom Hearts just, I get, it gets you. It does. <laughs> Every time. Not going to lie, if they threw a Stardew Valley player in here, I, I would be rooting for whoever that was. Every time. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if they pick Sephiroth, too, or Cloud. Yeah. Or Spock. If they just randomly said, hey, let's throw Spock in... Spock would be an interesting character. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he'd have a whole lot... Like, he'd probably have some sort of punch or chop, and then he'd be able to put you to sleep. I mean... I'm, I, like, uh... Not not Cherithy. Why am I thinking of Cherithy right now? Um... Pokemon? No. There is a character that puts you to sleep. Oh, well, Snake can. Oh, Snake can put you to sleep? Yeah. But I was talking about Pink. Pink? Pink character. In Smash Bros. Oh. Um, uh, uh, Jiggly. Jigglypuff. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Ooh. Right off the bat, uh, Sora is getting some... Heavy combos on Snake. Oh! Just not letting him get a kick in. Oh! All right. Yeah, this isn't looking too good. No, it is a rough start. That is 100% yeah. damage. Yeah, we need to, need to see more grenades coming out from Snake. And he loses his first stock, with Sora only at 13%. This is a really good Sora player. I kind of in awe. <laughs> I'm sure you're pleased. <laughs> I am, but I'm also conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Snake's getting some damage on him. Mm -hmm. There's that. All right, he's getting some damage. Let's get another stock. How about that? Yeah, let's get a stock. But already <laughs> we're once again at a higher percentage than Sora. Yeah, more than a full stock down at this point. Oh. oh. Sorry for the random noises, but this is kind well, of painful. You can see, <laughs> you can see why the noises are coming out on the screen. Uh, <laughs> and it looks like we lost our second stock. All right. Let's We're see. kind of getting crushed here. Just, just a little bit. Let's see if Samuel can rattle off nine straight kills. With oh. Oh. Unfortunately. Yeah, the timing on that on the line, you have to be playing Snake long enough to. That's a lot harder to react to that quick. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Are we going to get a stop? Oh, no. that was close. Honestly, the recovery for Sora is kind of insane, and it's partially because of the. Let's go. Good. Good. <laughs> The Sora did not go completely unscathed. So Sora has lost a stock, but Snake is also really close to losing his third and final and the last stock of the Vandals. Oh! Take this! Now, back off! 
there's that recovery we keep seeing from Sora, which ends in Snake Somebody losing his last stop. I am both in pain and pleased. <laughs> all right, we all have moments like that. Yeah, I mean, that's not the worst I've seen. Oh Putting my gosh! Putting me on the bracket would be the worst anybody's seen. That's that's a bummer. But all right. The good side is we didn't just ha let all them right. win unchallenged. All right, we took four stocks. We I, took four stocks. You know what? It looked Samuel was he's he's chuckling about it walking away, so that's good. And <laughs> and the first three were partially because of a technical difficulty. Well. Uh, not exactly, but it was it. W All right, we won't get into it. Anyways, are we going again? Not quite sure. We sh see Dipe as Marth. Not sure what's happening. Uh, we might take a tiny break, and I'll go find out what's happening. Okay. Although there is something happening. No, maybe not. Are they going to let us go another round because of the technical difficulty? Hmm. Sorry for the silence. We're kind of just trying to figure out what's going on again. That we are. And I'm not normally on stream. To be fair, I am, I'm not a natural caster. I'm... <laughs> um... Yeah, this is this is not my arena. We just this was a spur of the moment throw me on here thing. Yes, but that's okay. We love having you. And the viewers get to see the face of the person that made this all possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Well, a unless it's on the battle arena view right now, then they <laughs> don't get to see my face. That's true. That's right. Well, it looks like we might have some sort of fighting thing happening. Some yeah, smashing. Vlad? Vlad? Vlad. Oh. That's that's the name I see, but that's about it. Hmm. Uh. Are we're, we not? We're we're getting mocked for something. <laughs> yeah, Do you I want to spar and test that theory? <laughs> I, you know, Diggs, I, I may be very mediocre at, at uh, casting, but I, I'll fight you 100 rounds in Smash, and we'll see how many you take. Oh, <laughs> production just got called out. <laughs> That could be part of our um, our fundraiser. We were talking last night about trying to do um, what are the Twitch subscribes okay. called? Oh, the subathons. Yeah, we were talking about maybe doing a subathon. Oh yeah. By the way, we were talking about doing a subathon. Mm hmm So uh, keep an eye out for more news on that. The Kazes have more information because they were they were here for excited. the discussion. Oh, you I were here too. Though. I was there. But I was also distracted. <laughs> yeah, subathon coming soon. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming out. This is this mm -hmm. is fun being in a space that finally feels like it's 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 a home for esports. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, more stuff coming, and exciting exciting news that our our group of twenty PCs is now shipped. Those are going to show up on. Well, they're not going to be in the lab on Monday, but they're going to arrive to campus on Monday, and then IT will get working on. Oh, so that means all of our players will have newer computers. Well, the six we've got are already, so, I mean, like, those are... Oh, yeah, that's they're, true. They're, they're 32 gigs RAM, 3060. Yeah, those, those are fine, but, yeah, well, all of our teams will be able to get practice in whenever they want. Um, yeah, so I, sus I suspect we're going to have some nights where we've got 20 people playing on PCs while... While there's a whole bunch of Smash stuff going on. Um, Sounds like and fun. Maybe some cycling. And I was talking to uh, one of my fellow students today who 
wants nothing to do with gaming, and I was like, what if we brought in DDR? And she's like, oh, I would actually come if you had a DDR pad sitting in your esports lab. Awesome. Uh, hypothetical. If I'm not working that night, say a Tuesday, and yes. I come in with one of my PS5 games. Uh, totally fine. Could I put, I could play? Three, yeah. Two, one, I might cry. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, we're we're into a a, a a thing where something happened with him. Oh, I think we're doing the control thing. The control check. Yeah. Game. Yeah. And it looks like Vlad is playing against King. Oh, what's his name? I live to fight again. It's Marth against King. Oh no, Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Why do I? Why did I think he was King? That's right. You'll get used to. I obviously know all of the players on Smash. Obviously, you're a big Smasher. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's not like I only pretty much know the classics and Sora, Cloud, and Sephiroth. That's about it. Really. That's right. If we were casting Kingdom Hearts right now, I, I would be... I would be killing it. <laughs> yes, and I would be lost. <laughs> I yeah. mean, there's some parts about uh, Kingdom Hearts that you could make it competitive. Like, there's um, mini games and... Uh, like certain speed runs and races that you could do, but the entire game probably not, <laughs> unless it was like a completion rate race. But that would take like three days. That that was kind of like wait, I did a, a competitive thing with uh, Stardew Valley. We did not. Mm -hmm. oh. We 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 created a it was a one year challenge, and uh, yeah, there's just a variety of measures, get gold and how many hearts you gained with the villagers and all sorts of stuff like that. Ooh. Nice recovery by both uh, Vlad and our Vandal. Dyke? Right? Dyke playing I, Marth? I can't see who's over there. Unfortunately, Marth loses his first stock, and Vlad is only at 7%, so let's see if we can rack that damage up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, Marth is, <laughs> Marth is moving, but uh, not connecting. Yeah. Nice block by Marth. But sent over the age edge before he recovers. Oh! Oh. Not loving this Greninja coming off stage so aggressively. Definitely oh wow! Definitely realizes that so space. Forced the uh, the re grab and unfortunately. We lost our second stock. The Gr Greninja is I can speak. Still at three stocks and low damage. For Forty-five damage. Oh. It's not looking good. And a nice combo by Vlad. I mean, not nice for us. Oh. But. Try doing some fancy jab lock stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks like Marth is adjusting to this aggressive play style. Probably not as quickly as... Definitely not as quickly as needed. Yeah. Unlikely to actually recover from this, especially since he's up into kill percentage. Mm, if we could maybe you can stop. rattle off a little bit of a combo. Yeah, can... let's let's not start off with the three stock again. Yeah. Let's... If we can at least get a stock off, I'd be happy. But we are already at 122% against the- Oh! Oh! It's a uh, good up B out of shield. Oh. And nice unfortunately, down tilt into back air. Yeah. Well done, Vlad. took out all three stocks without losing a single one. Well... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yeah, that was not the best playing I've seen from our players. But, you know, this well, can get better. It's it's only the first round, right? Yeah, it, that was what I think. I'm not quite I sure what's happening. I think we're going into, like, another thing. I don't know. I'm I don't not know totally what's sure. going on. <laughs> you know, this uh, on our JVT, that not Yoshi is actually the, our only JV player that has any online experience. Oh, so everybody, that's this is new for everybody else. 
Um, we had a couple other players that we were hoping also would be joining our JV team that haven't quite turned out yet. So mm -hmm. now I just sound like I'm making Johns and Queensboro's over there laughing. But I mean, that kind of difference in experience can really change how people play. It, it does. So. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you for the follow, Queensboro. Thank you. I'm. To be honest, I still like that Sora player. I kind of want to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Well, I don't know what the Queensboro players have going on after this. If they have a nice match or, or if this is just after what their nice match was. Or they could stick around and watch our varsity play. That was exactly where I was going with that. Was <laughs> yeah. We've got a varsity match that starts in... Uh, it depends on your time zone. So it starts... In about 45 minutes, our varsity team will be playing. Um, yeah, so you're definitely going to want to stick around for that because our varsity is pretty good. They are smashing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love puns. <laughs> they smash the competition. Yes, especially players like Hunter and... Oh, Hunter rattled off uh, nine stocks with one of his... Uh, yeah. One of his... Uh, in one of the rounds last... Definitely go back and check out that stream. It was beautiful. It was sick. Yes. So sick. And now it looks like we're going to... They're flaming us? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, this is our JV team. I, I promise our varsity is... is uh, they, they, they have more experience. Yeah, but uh, we normally we'd be able to see the chat, but we are not currently seeing the chat. So there's that. Oh, oh, Rosalina against Greninja. All right, this is gonna be all right. All right, now you guys did it. see this is this is what you get for talking too much smack. Oh, confidence. Yeah, this is this, I, is, this is one of our varsity players. I, I oh. I'm not sure what the conversation was that. Angel, I, they must have. I'm not quite sure what. Well, anyways, this is one of our varsity players. So, I know that Greninja is a really fast character, but Rosalina seems really, like, not really slow, but slower, uh, more floaty. Luma is, is very uh, defensive. It's, it's, it, Rosa is just going to be like, for the most part, keep away from me. I'm going to let my little star do the. Uh, do a good chunk of the damage. Just nice. like this. I mean... And we've already got Greninja up in those high percentages, so that's nice. Yeah. A little comeback. Alright. Well, this will be fun, <laughs> at least. Yes. It's not going to be a total smackdown. Hopefully not another 3 star. Oh, but those are some nice combos by Greninja. Good recovery by Rosalina, but some edge guarding by Greninja. We do appreciate the offer for uh, for the advice, though. Yes. <laughs> Personally, I always love constructive criticism. Yes. Especially since I could eventually, once I get better, use it against the people that gave me said advice. Yeah. Ooh, we already got Greninja up in that kill percentage. Though Rosalina's not far behind. Yeah, Greninja's trying to adapt to getting punished by Luma a bunch. Being a little bit less aggressive. Oh! Let's see if we can recover. Yes, we can. So can Greninja. We are both in kill percentages, so this can go either way. Ooh. And there would be a stock. Nice. All right. Good job from our varsity player. Oh, okay. That that made me panic a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Shiny Shoes does that a bunch with Rosa. That's Shiny uh, Shoes needs to learn not to give me heart issues. <laughs> well, yeah, they're just familiar with how low they can go on the stage. There's okay. there's plenty of room down there, and Rosa's plenty floaty. Okay. Oh, right. nice combo. So now it's a question of how much damage can Chinese shoes rack up with this with this life before they lose it. Oh, 
unlike Bowser, she can't take as much damage, can she, before she's just launched. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty light. And she's tall. So she's... She doesn't have, like, that short stature, like, Jigglypuff to not get hit. All right, I'm not going to lie. That's a, that's a pretty slick move by Greninja. I don't... We, uh, our, our number one PR player from around here a couple of years ago was a Greninja, and that was there was a lot of sick things that, that Pi did, but uh, I don't remember seeing him doing that as to force, a, to force somebody off the ledge. Another nice combo by Greninja. Can Rosalina recover? That is the question. That is one of the fun things about Luma. Luma's just going to sit there and take a whole bunch of uh, projectiles. Luma's a fun character. Have you seen... I forget. Did you see the Mario movie? I have not. I was going to watch it with, uh, this Friday, right? Yeah. We're going to... We'll, we'll show it here tomorrow. Yay! Uh, Luma is, is in the movie. Fun. Possibly my favorite character in the movie. You know, I, I almost forgot that we were going to be uh, watching the movie tomorrow, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to be going into work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be going into work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, trying to bait Ninja there. off the ledge, but both recover. Can we take that second stock off before we lose? Who's going to go into the critical? Uh, who's, who's getting the lead here? That's yeah. what I was trying to say. Pretty much. That's the that's the concern right now. Staying mostly center stage. Rosalie is sticking... Uh, sorry, China Shoes is sticking to defensive play. Yeah, they're both just kind of dinking around, looking for an opening. Oh! And then you just went to try and make an opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of little chip damage going on, but... Oh! We are in some dangerous territory right now. Oh. You know, I... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in, in just a minute here. If there is something that I... Heard. Just recall that it's interesting. Oh, okay. That um, is this to do with the match currently yes. going on? Okay. Yeah. Don't want to say anything because we currently have competitors watching. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Ooh. It's a nice little. I'm trying to think. Is that a side beam? That combo. Yeah, a minute left here. That is some punishment. Oh. Yeah, we need to get that stock at least to even it up at one apiece. It's a good spot dodge by Blab there. Good recovery by Rosalina. Mm. A little bit more back and forth in the center stage. Rosalina gets launched, but can Oh. Oh, no. Good recovery there by Shiny. Still needs to pick up the stock. 16 seconds left. Rosalina needs to pick off that stock. I agree. Sorry, I know you just said that, but I didn't process it. That's all right. Yeah, now Greninja is just kind of playing to hold the stop. Oh! 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 All right, well. That, within the last five seconds, Greninja was able to take out Rosalina's last stock. Well, Rosalina didn't actually die. What? Even though that was the kill screen, the time it timed out before Rosalina was off, off uh, before they... Oh. Exited the blast zone. Well, so I'm trying to remember. I think that means that they both tick off one more stock. 
Which means so, that our Rosalina would be. Yeah, Ro Rosa would still would have lost the set, but that mean that did at least remove the second stock from uh, That's Vladimir. That's good. For Vlad. Vlad is a very good character. I mean, sorry, player, and knows his character very well. So, some competition there. All right. Well, let's let's see who we're throwing in here next. I wish we had a lineup to see who would be going next, but I mean. Ooh. Fun idea for something to work on. Oh. Yay! <laughs> I thought of something. Yes. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like um, perhaps we could even have somebody over here in video just sitting in Discord to watch the conversation so we know who's coming in. And then they could... Yeah, that's this is probably... That it. That's, like that's probably a pretty easy set problem to uh, take care of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Coming yeah. soon. Two more Shoutcasters coming on next week. Yes. And then... Uh, what games are they going to be involved in? Uh, they, we seem to have... Uh, like, everybody that comes here plays shooters. So... Oh, I mean, I can be everything else. Because... What do I know about any game? <laughs> I, I would love it if one of our random Vandal students out there watching right now was just like, you know, I love League of Legends. I don't want to play competitively. I would love to cast it. That would be nice. That would be amazing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, thank you. All right. Um, you played very well. I, I'm... Can I go check on something? I'm going to go check on something. All right. So you're going to be stuck with me for a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> yep. We might have Kaz jump on it. Oh, are we going to have Kaz jump on? So, we are stuck on the map screen. Not sure what we're going to pick yet. And we're going to be having someone else join us. It's going to be Kaz. And he's probably going to be with me for the varsity game as well. So, you're going to be seeing a little bit more of him. Uh, he knows about this game more than I do, so you're going to have a person that actually knows what they're talking about talking. I just do description and entertainment. <laughs> um, yeah, no nothing's happening right now. Hey, Diggs. Can we have the screen turned on so I can see chat? Oh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I would have something to talk about. Yeah, that's all right. So I currently cannot see what you guys are talking about. So sorry. <laughs> oh, that's. I guess there's that. It is still pretty early in the night. Hi. So we here we have our guest. He's getting ready. He's not a guest. He's another chef caster. What am I talking about? I, no one can do this up here. That's true. But... Um... I'm sure. So here we have okay. Kaz, and we it looks like we're going to be going onto the small battlefield, and we are playing as Bowser against Greninja, who is on his last stock. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Hello, friends. I'm I'm fully sat and uh, adjusted. And are my levels okay, Diggs? All right. Um. Just so no, I'm fine. Um, I'm assuming this will be fun. I watched the last match between Shiny Shoes and Vlad, uh, and I was very much scared the entire time that <laughs> that last minute uh, 
KO, even if it wasn't like really a really a KO, but like you know that just like it was very very scary. Does Vlad know that he's on one stock? I don't. I don't know. I think. Okay, okay, there we go. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, oh wait, wait, wait. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, was that I don't think that was the plan. I don't think so either. Um I think that something was is going. Control. I th think so. So like probably going to be matching up again cuz he still had one stock. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna go again. Uh, there we go, and we're starting up. So, we currently don't know what's going on. Obviously. When have I known anything that was going on tonight? It's been great! Yeah. <laughs> Our messenger is uh, a little occupied at the moment. Yes. Uh, and we are kind of just figuring stuff out as things come along. I actually don't know much about our JV Smash 2. Me neither. I have, um, I've never seen them play. Other than um, Dragonforge. And Dragonforge, Shiny Shoes, and um, Yoshinori. I thought Shiny Shoes was Varsity. Oh, yes, yes. So okay. Shiny Shoes is Varsity, um, but uh, Yoshinator is not. And I know Yoshinator. I played against Yoshinator. I don't like playing okay, against I think Yoshinator. this is going to be the actual match. Yep, there we go. There we go. And... I'm getting their controls figured out. Just running around. And we're running in immediately. Uh, we're gonna ju match. just immediately, wow, immediately uh, just going ham, not giving them a break at all. Bowser hasn't been able to do anything so far. Yeah, that combo really crushed Rosalina last match. It. Uh, oh. Vlad is just bullying now. Hasn't taken a single percent of damage the entire fight and has already gotten their first stock out. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, this this isn't looking very good. Oh. I just don't think Bowser's fast enough to counter against Greninja. Well, usually they can, and like those heavy hitters aren't that big of a deal. Uh, but once you're ledge guarding and just getting juggled around off the stage, there's no real hope for you. Now, Greninja is at 68, now 88%, nearing kill percentage, and uh, Bowser is hoping that he's able to do something uh, to get them closer. But just with the way things are going, it looks like they're not yeah, letting up. You know. Greninja was able to take out three stocks in barely two minutes or so. Yeah, it still has le had less than... 100%. That is that, kind of crushing it, really. I I can say I'm impressed with Vlad, but my, my, is this brutal. Yeah, that wasn't the best showing from our players. But things can get better. Yeah. Who do you think they're going to be putting on next? I have no idea. See, because yeah, okay. I would give you an answer if I knew who our players were. Um, <laughs> That's a good point. And I don't, I don't know who our players are, I unless if they just pull Hunter out of nowhere and be like, "Hey, you want to, you want to play?" We rush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he is our MVP for a reason. He soloed nine stocks on one stock. A beautiful match that we saw last <laughs> week, and uh, we do have another match tonight for Varsity starting at seven. So he should be on there. Uh, we should, and he should be on there too. Although, seeing as the way things went last week, I wouldn't be surprised if we waited longer to put Hunter on. Yeah, he's he would probably be the last player put on, like we did in that second round of the mm. match. 
But, um... Anyway, who are we playing against varsity-wise? Um, I don't know, actually. Does Usually I'm supposed know? to do that before the game, and now I'm at the couch, so... I'm here earlier than usual, too. Yeah. I mean, I get here at 5, but... Yeah, like, usually we aren't on anything until 7. But That's true. Since yeah. uh, our JV players have a scrim tonight, we wanted to yeah. give them some scream time, give them an opportunity to uh, okay. show off their gameplay to the public. It is unfortunate that... Um, this was the matchup? Yeah. But... Uh, I mean, it happens. We lose. It's possible. I mean, like, yeah. It's not like every game can't be great. Yes. And even if we do lose, we can see some pretty great gameplay. And, and, and plus, like, this isn't, like, that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not only if it our GV players, but it's also a scrim match. And it's yeah. just it's an opportunity for all players on both parties here to uh, get some opportunity playing in a competitive matchup. Oh. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. That that hurt. This yeah. is, so production just communicated what with us about what was actually happening. So oh. We are on the second round in hey, when? ten three. When? Um Oh candy's up. Um That's good. There was a little thing that uh, showed up in the corner of the screen there, that red server maintenance starting. I, it was on the it was on the game screen. It showed up for a little bit, and then it, it went away. Let's hope that doesn't affect the game. <laughs> because we are on our last three stocks. Well, not only that, but we also have a varsity game to cast for tonight. That, and we have a league game to cast for tonight. Oh, I'm sure that'll be fine. Le this, that, uh, yes, that won't affect that league. has uh, given us a ton of problems. It won't affect it at all. No. So Can, uh, league just it has its own problems. But this server maintenance thing, that, that's for... It's smash. So Candy is playing as Byleth. And from what I remember, isn't Candy a varsity player? I believe so. Interesting. Yes. Um, Maybe this is acting as a warm-up before the varsity match. Maybe. Or I, I, I could also see the situation of our JV team just not being present enough tonight. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, we've had some issues with um, Draken and some of the uh, some of the other players. I don't think are here tonight. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're just subbing in some of our varsity players so we have more matchups. Mm -hmm. um, but I wouldn't also be surprised if we're subbing in more of our varsity players um, just to give us a leg up. <laughs> I mean, we are down seven right now. It is, it's we are getting brutalized. So um, hopefully Candy can take out the last stock of Greninja <laughs> should be possible. Watching Candy scares me. Not, not, not because like you know they're bad or anything, or they make a lot of risky plays. But it's, it's. I think it's it's just Violet in particular that uh, is just Candy's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> We're seeing some dancing around already. Vlad is already making some very heavy hits and just trying to keep uh, Candy here off the ledge. Uh, seeming to do somewhat successful, though Candy is going to quickly bring it back to the center stage. Nice uh, dodging by Violet. Let me say that. Absolutely. Other than that combo. That yeah. combo's a killer. Something that I'm noticing in Vlad's uh, gameplay style is that once they're able to get their opponent like off the ledge, they will do everything in their power to keep them off, uh, which is how they were able to win that last matchup and uh, might be how they plan to approach this fight. I wonder if Candy's noticed that same patterns, if they've watched the previous fights with Vlad. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, they're... We, we will see. There is oh. a stock advantage, even though uh, Byleth just lost their first. 
of three. Vlad is nearing kill percentage and only has one. Oh. And quickly, just like that. Oh. By I mean, sorry. I, I, I called that way too early. I mean, it looked like it. It definitely looked like it. However, yeah, crit animations can be very uh, deceptive at times. But Greninja is in kill percentage now, so we have a high chance of winning this match. I hate that combo. It makes it, it, makes, it makes me cringe when I see it used. <laughs> It and seems like Candy's beginning to pick up on Vlad's patterns just a little bit. Uh, they're spending more time waiting to get back on. Uh, but their failed oh. recovery uh, loses them another stock. Unfortunate. Although Vlad is entering 118. And, and with a quick win. crit, they're able to take that stock and uh, bring, um, a chance to grow. I guess, another point away from Queensboro. Is that how I'm supposed to say that? I guess... But now it is 9-1, so Byleth would have to go through all three of the next matchups with only one stock. I mean, it's not impossible. Hunter did it. H Hunter did it. Yeah. But it's also really difficult. <laughs> yeah. But I... No! Server maintenance. I, I called it. I saw it. And I thought it. And so I don't know if we'll be able to continue the match. I don't. I mean, it unless if they're able to reconnect and it was just something on our side, but I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm never really sure what's going on. <laughs> and you're supposed to know more than me because you're also part of the production team most of the time. Um. Some of the time, I should say. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not over there. I'm I'm not handling the consoles. I'm back here running stream. That's true. Or you're running spectator. Yeah. But if we're not able to uh, get back in, that might not only be the end of this scrim, but we might not be able to stream our varsity match tonight. Yeah, that would be rather unfortunate. We're still waiting on word from our... Uh, uh, coaches from the Smash team here, just hoping everything's all right. And if not, then uh... normally, normally it's League that's giving us all this trouble. Yeah, but it, you know, you can't you can't plan around server maintenance. That's true. So. Yep, we are kind of stuck here for a little bit, and I think because we had technical issues that means we lost that three stock or is it because we no. weren't part of a match or we just ended a matchup no that we still have it yeah like right. they, like we didn't go into another fight or anything and okay so yeah. we're good so things are out of stand still until we receive word from Vulcan Okay, so it was what I thought. The server maintenance notification was right, and we are not able to stream our match. Uh, or do we do we know how long it's going for? Will we be able to do varsity as well? Okay. Oh, okay. So it seems like until we have more of an understanding of what's going on and how long the server maintenance is going to last for, we are going to go on break. I would tell you to stick around, but I... Uh, this Actually, break is going yes. to be indefinite, so no, I can't so say that stick in around. good faith. Stick around. Watch the cat. It's cute. Or the, the ads. The static <laughs> image of a cat for tw maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. Make sure to get something to eat and then come back. Check up with us, and we will tell you what's going on once we know more.
everybody. I know it's been a little bit, but just so you know, we will be starting to stream League in about 10, 15 minutes. So make sure to stick around for that. Thanks. Sorry for the slight change in plans. Uh, we are actually going to end this stream, and then we're going to pick up in about 20, 30 minutes. So, I mean, make sure to come back. We'll have League ready and some very intriguing entertainment. Thanks. Thanks.